Hi, this is Jason Chapman with Production Voices. We're just going to show you the contents of the Production Grand hard drive and explain a couple of the uh, features here. So inside the Production Grand hard drive, you have four different things. You have the manual and the three different sample rates of Production Grand. So if I select the manual, I can just open it up. You can see that everything's in here. You can read about the system requirements and the credits and so on, everything that you would need to do to get started. Production Grand comes in three different sample rates and bit rates, and they're shown as one, two, three, from the highest quality to the lower quality. All of them sound great. They all function the same. They have the exact same controls. The presets are identical. The only thing that is different is just the samples and the sample quality. So let's take a look. So uh, Platinum 24-bit, 96 kilohertz. This is most likely for high-end pro users who are going to do album work or if uh, you need a high performance recording of something, then this is where it would come from. If you play this live, it will really tax your computer. You should have a solid state drive or some sort of RAID system in order to get this to play back. Next, we have what most users will use, which is Production Grand Gold, the 24-bit 44.1 kilohertz samples. This is great for loading in and playing live as well on a fast computer, as well as doing your recordings and getting everything going. Um, this sounds fantastic and most users will get great mileage out of it. If you have a little bit slower computer or a laptop computer, the Production Grand Silver is probably where you should, you should start. This is also a great way to addition all eight microphone perspectives to decide what the balance you want on your piano is and then you can bounce out on any of the higher quality um, Production Grand samples at any time. Production Grand Silver 16-bit 44.1 is going to take up less CPU resources and it will also function a little bit faster, load a little bit faster than the other ones. So it's great as kind of your working sketch. Let's take a look at one of the folders inside. All the folders are identical, what we see. You'll have presets and samples. My suggestion is to not open the sample folders. They have 40,000 some odd things inside of the samples inside of the uh, sample folder. So it could take a while to view everything. If you go into the presets, you'll have two different types of presets. You'll have presets that include multis. So four microphone preset perspectives each. This is the modern edition and the vintage edition. When you load these up together, you'll get the full production grand eight microphone perspectives together. And we'll show you that in a second. Included in the folder as well are the singles. Singles are each microphone perspective brought out as a single instrument. And there's advantages to using the singles. So one of the advantages is that you can change the pedal noise and each of the uh, noises and features for each of these microphone perspectives individually. So some users may want to do that. Otherwise they sound identical and function identically as the other um, multi for microphone edition. Let's get into contact and see what they look like. And then we'll finish our overview. So in contact, I'm gonna scroll up to the top. I've opened up the gold. Let's just see what we've got. When you first load it up, you'll have the if you bring in the multi, this is what they'll look like. This is the modern edition. This is the vintage edition. Don't forget that before you can play anything, you must turn on the microphone perspective and bring up the volume. In the settings, you can go over on the next page. You can see there's pedal noise. It'll load up some samples. Key release, it'll load up some samples as well. And then these are all your features. Finally, on the third page, you'll see the microphone placements within the room. Same thing for the vintage edition. The on buttons are down at the bottom instead of at the top, and you can adjust the volumes accordingly over here. Let's take a look at the uh, singles. The singles look like the second page of the multis. Let's just compare. So if I turn on the second page, you will see that they have the same similar features that you can see. The recording noise, instead of being four, is only a single one, and then it also has the um, icon of what the microphone is. This is nice having the singles because one, it can take up less space if you're using it. So less CPU resources, less RAM and so on if you're just using a single. And it can also adjust the key up, key release and so on for each microphone perspective individually instead of all the groups of four in, uh, together at the same time. So that's what you get with Production Grand on the hard drive. You get three different sample rates, as well as all the options in the presets for each of those three and the manual.